Andy, how's the weather looking? We're heading into the weekend. Hey, it's going to be hot. Stay hydrated. As we said, going into the commercial break, we might even see a rain shower, although it's going to be limited to the extreme northwestern portions of our viewing area tonight. Perhaps a little more widespread tomorrow. Here's what we're looking at. Out towards San Angelo, Tom Green County, we're getting showers and thunderstorms there. More going on just to the north of Abilene. Strong enough to warrant a severe thunderstorm warning for that one. It's a long way away from us, but we could see, as we looked at the model earlier, some of this stuff making its way over towards Stephenville to Brownwood in that area. There's a very slim chance of getting any action in that area, and even slimmer as you get back over towards the I-35 quarter. We will see clouds on the increase tonight. Humidity values will be increasing as well. Not as bad as they could be, but still uh, starting to get sticky. By morning, 68 degrees in Goldthwaite. Remember, they're, they're at 102 degrees out in that area right now. 69 first thing in the morning in the Cove. 69 in Waco. 72 for an overnight low for Lorena and Temple. 73 your wake-up temperature in Belton. Along I-45. 70 in Centerville. 68 in Madisonville. 69 degrees in Mahia. Tomorrow afternoon, fair to partly cloudy skies. It's the late afternoon hours that I think we could see a shower or a thunderstorm pop up along that dry line. Sometimes we call it a Marfa cool front because that's basically what it is, is a separation between dry air and moist air. 92 right now under sunny sky here locally at the airport, 38% relative humidity. Tonight, clouds on the increase for us. We'll start the day tomorrow partly cloudy, 69 degrees in the morning. South winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. Here's your dry line. It's out ahead of an old stalled out frontal boundary across the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma right now. And this is where we're seeing the shower and thunderstorm activity. Works its way towards us into the late evening hours. Then it begins to dissipate. The whole scenario repeats itself tomorrow. We see the dry line developing again, bringing showers a little closer to the I-35 quarter. Not real widespread, only spotty showers in the forecast. For us, we'll go 20% chances. Partly cloudy otherwise. New Channel 6 seven day planner, always a weekend forecast. High tomorrow, getting up to 95. Hey, the Salvation Army in Waco is putting on a car show at their Webster location. That's right close to the silos in downtown uh, Waco. And this benefits the Salvation Army Food Pantry. So I invite you to drop by tomorrow afternoon. 98 for a high on Sunday, 99 on Monday. Look further down into the week, Chris. 100 on Thursday and 101 coming Friday afternoon. Yeah, those are July and August temperatures. I know. Man, okay, coming on early this year. Let's see if we can crack this heat wave and get into more calm weather. I don't know that we can, Andy. Boy, it's getting warm out there.